guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's updated home tour. If you missed my last video, I think I posted it over a year ago. I'll link it right here in the cards, but we actually did a home tour last year and showed you all the rooms in our house. And since then, we have like renovated so many spaces and decorated so many spaces. And Nick and I actually had a kid-free day yesterday to clean and organize, purge, and just get this house back in shape. So I figured while it was clean, because it won't last long, I would go ahead and do an updated tour. So if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. But with that being said, let's get into it. So as you can see, I do have a little sidekick with me, so we'll see how she does throughout this video. But we're gonna start in my entryway, and pretty much, I think since the last video, we added um, this entryway table. And it's been decorated for the seasons in multiple different ways. So this is the entry space. Not much else has changed other than we did change out all of our knobs to a dark color. They were like the 90s brass. Okay, coming off of our entryway is our front living room. And y'all, this room has like had a total transformation. You don't want your bow? You don't want your bow? <laughs> Since we moved in. When we moved in, it was like grandma threw up in here and we completely transformed this space. This room actually did not have any overhead lighting at all. So I had the idea from Pinterest to add some lighting along our back wall. I really wanted to give this wall some texture and dimension and it was the perfect space to add some extra lighting to this room. So my husband did a beadboard on the wall and we added the shelf. All of these frames I will link below. The large ones are from Target and the small ones are from Amazon and actually come in a large pack. Another huge update to this room is our amazing sectional. I actually found this sectional when I was pregnant with Blair, made Nick come sit on it, and I sold him. We had to wait 12 weeks for this to come in, but this couch, y'all, is the most amazing, comfortable couch ever. You can fit like three little kids across this ottoman. When my kids have sleepovers, all the children just pile on this couch and sleep. It's the best couch for like movie watching, I can't say enough things about it. I will link it below. Trust me, y'all need it. And then over in this corner, we actually added a TV and entertainment stand and then just a shelf with some decorations. I feel like it just really like made this room feel homey because there for a long time, it just felt bare and empty. Okay, here's our formal dining room. I don't remember, actually, I think the last time that we filmed this room, we didn't even have a table yet. <laughs> this was just like our formal dining room that wasn't really a dining room. So, my husband built our table. We get questions about this table all of the time. It's amazing, but he kind of custom built it for this space. We can see a ton of people. I did find a dupe that I will link below um, since he built this one. We have chairs that are from Walmart. These came in a set of four, and they're great quality. They're metal. They're actually indoor-outdoor chairs, so you can just wipe them off. Perfect for kids. And then we changed out this light fixture. We actually found this at a local store that buys, like, pallets of items. And then back here, I've done multiple decorating videos for the different seasons, so I'll link my latest one right here. But this I actually purchased at Goodwill and painted it and I love to just decorate this space for the different seasons. This also holds all of our homeschool stuff, so it makes this room practical while still keeping it pretty. Off of the kitchen, we have like our eat-in kitchen area. This is where my kids eat. 90% of the time. They hardly ever eat in the formal dining room, but it flows right into our main living space, which is like our most used room in our home. It's so cozy in here. I love this room. I love decorating it for the various seasons, and we completely transformed this space as well. So this fireplace is actually one of the first projects that we did when we moved in. It used to be like an old, like tan stone. I whitewashed it, total transformation. I'll put the photo here of what it looks like as well. And then I get questions all of the time about these floating shelves around the fireplace. My husband actually also built those as well, 
but I have found some dupes that I'll link below. But I love how they just like make this space feel cozy and symmetrical and I love decorating them for the different holidays and just different seasons. This is like one of my favorite spaces in my house. you have this hallway this actually leads to our garage but in this hallway we kind of just wanted to add a little bit of like I don't know a little touch to hold the kids artwork so we were able to put this here and kind of decorate it up a little bit we also have a place to like hold our keys for like a practical option and then leading into here is our laundry room this room this is my husband's office and we actually just renovated it a few months ago but I really love the way it turned out we originally were only going to do the color on this wall on this back wall but then I saw a Pinterest inspiration and we decided to just go for it and I love the like manly feeling that this color gives all throughout the room it just makes it seem I don't know like comforting but like sophisticated love it and my husband also has always collected shot glasses everywhere he's traveled. And so we wanted to display those like in a, I don't know, not like college way. <laughs> so we displayed them throughout the room as well as some of his sports memorabilia. And I feel like it's just a perfect room for him to come and get his work done. It's all him, but it's like decorated in a nice way. Okay, we're now going to go down to the basement. We actually... I should have done a before picture of like all of the patchwork that we did on the wall because this is kid land down here if y'all don't know and we like just re recently like patched some spots on the walls and repainted and it looks totally fresh and clean oh. down here and it won't last very long so we got to look at it now. my son's room and my oldest daughter's room and there's not much to see in here we really haven't decorated much in here but it is a large room that he has plenty of space to just have his friends over and enjoy we're now in my oldest daughter's room and let's take a second and just admire this accent wall I'm obsessed with this wall I saw I think her name is frills and drills on Instagram she did a wall like this I was totally inspired and we copied it and I love it but my daughter wanted a couch in her room so this is actually the couch that used to be in our front room and we just moved it down here and it actually folds down into a bed so it's perfect for when she has sleepovers but her room is like the perfect tween room I feel like it's like still has touches of like little girl but then it would totally move into like her teen years okay so we're now upstairs and we have this little area that I call like the landing essentially it just has a picture window and we put two chairs around it but it leads to our bedroom. So it kind of like separates the master from the kids room. Okay, this is bedroom number one. And I think in my last video, this may have still been the nursery, but we transformed this space and we actually ended up putting our two little boys together in a room once we found out she was on the way. And so we turned this into a room for my older son. And I love this accent wall. This was also a Pinterest inspiration, but I feel like it just gives some character to this room. This room's not a large room, but we use this as a guest room a lot of times also. So we did want to have a larger bed in here. And now we are in my favorite room of the house. I love this room. This room makes me so happy. It's baby girl's nursery and I mean, can we just take a second and admire it? It turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out. And it's like the perfect little cozy room for her. It's so girly and pretty. She has a walk-in closet in here. I just love this room. Now 
now we are in our master bedroom and y'all <laughs> this room when we first moved in had like pea beige walls it had a hideous border that went across the top and i don't even remember what the border was it was hideous it was like totally like 80s this room was just so ugly so we painted it and paint just transforms the space changed out the light fixture changed out the curtains and we've done minimal decor in here i still haven't decorated my side tables i'm still looking for what i want but i feel like we have just brightened up the space and it really does feel like an oasis for my husband and I to come at the end of a long day of parenting. Off of the master bedroom, we have the master bathroom and I actually have two dedicated videos of us renovating this space. This bathroom was so ugly when we first moved in and we totally transformed it for like less than $300 and I feel like it just made all the difference. So that's our house. I love all the renovations that we have done and I love it being so clean right now and I'm already dreading my kids coming in and destroying it. But houses are made to be lived in, so that is life. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys and I'll see you on the next one.